What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kai, and I am back with another video. Bruh, why do I always mess up my intro, bro? I just came back with another hit. Look at this with the diamond on my wrist. On the ship, baby, you can't get a kiss. Kid the cup, baby, you know I do not sip. Ten on me while walking with a limp. Drip all right, just know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kai, and welcome back to another video with your boy Kai. Read, man. You see the title and thumbnail of today's video. We got a reaction video today. You already know what we be doing over here, bro. Look, I be posting a lot of reaction videos because sometimes I be bored or I don't know what to post, but you already know what it is, man. You know I'm the king. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say half king of reaction videos, but I be doing I be doing all right in reaction videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in today's reaction video, we are reacting to Charlie D'Amelio caught scamming her fans, scamming her fans, scamming her fans. No, I'm not talking about an OnlyFans account. I'm talking about scamming her fans. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> Scroll down, leave a like, subscribe to join the hashtag Kyle Family Man. Roll to 800, roll to 1K. I love you guys. Let's get into this reaction video. Let's go. Let's see what the T is about. With the T, let's see what the T is about. Scamming her fingers. Three, Let's get it. Two. One. Hey loves, your girl Anna is back yet again with a new I don't got my head, my, uh, my AirPods and plugged in, so you need to hear this my might computer. Unbelievable, but a lot has happened in the past 24 hours between many TikTokers. Since, well, Charlie D'Amelio got called out for scamming her fans, oh! Zoe's entire truth got exposed, and on top of this huge mess, you guys, Trisha Paytas also threw a lot of accusations at James Charles and the D'Amelios. I should probably start prepping my school. Not this, for this one like, I'm not even girl, into drama. I hate drama. All right, She's let's see weird, what these TikTokers bro. had to offer us. I'm not into none of that, bro. We all I'm know you're you. rich, rich, but girl, don't expect me to buy your $1,500 jacket because someone needs I reacted to a lot of TikTok videos. It's me. But, you know, I got me a lot of views. Give me for any sense in which I committed those. I know what meant those are. Anyways, all jokes aside, this drama is quite serious, you guys. And to be clear, Charlie D'Amelio is now getting called out for scamming her young fans. What did she do? Can you just stop talking and say what she did, bro? As y'all know, a lot of big brand deals have been going around on many of our social media pages. Whether it is a real product, fake, or not existent. Hey, yeah, that's actually a thing. And of course, guess who takes hey, all the blame she, for it? Hey, the influencers and TikTokers who promote the product. However, the situation in today's video is much worse than you already think it is because not only did people call out Charlie D'Amelio for allegedly scamming her fans, but the company also got into a huge mess because of Charlie. It all started this week when Charlie posted a TikTok video on her account basically promoting a $1,500 jacket from a luxurious oh. company. Check this out. That's crazy because I looked it up. How much of uh, Charlie D'Amelio make and stuff like that. And I, wonder, like, I looked up like basically how much TikTokers make. They make a, they make a decent amount. That's because, nah, she got, I think she got a, a single, a song. I think she got signed by some, I don't know, bro. I heard. Now, of course, this video wasn't a huge deal at first, but after a lot of her fans did research on the company and found the actual price of the jacket Charlie was promoting, they went hey, insane, man, you guys, because no matter how much money the company paid Charlie, she shouldn't have promoted an expensive jacket to her I'm young really audience. Really Here's really what some people had to say about Charlie and the company. Who is the winter internet convinced Moncler to spend marketing dollars on a TikTok campaign? Moncler really spent a duty load of money on advertising. $1,500 puffer coats to 16 year olds without dog Charlie is literally wearing 30 to dog polyester jeans. This cheap not, 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 so not my niggas, not my dogs. Seventeen hundred dollar jacket with thirty four dollar polyester. I'm not sure if Charlie fans can afford the Montclair. You look good right now. You look good. She probably got paid like five hundred thousand dollars. Montclair must be going through tough times because why would they advertise to teens? Oh, don't let this one eyebrow fool you. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. 
see, the company was also receiving backlash for making Charlie promote their jacket. And the weirdest part about this is that a lot of people also noticed how many influencers have promoted this company before, such as Self Porch, Abby, and many more. But they received zero backlash for it. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'll read your opinion about this entire situation down below. Also, don't forget to leave a comment and tell me whether you think Charlie deserved all the hate she received for it. At this point, y'all should probably know that whenever I mention Zoe the Groomer in my videos, she either threw shade bro, at someone or leaked an audio video, just bro. to stay relevant. She's not and telling she how she, she got, got she's family, right, bro. She's just she like... Me. It hasn't been 24 hours since I mentioned Zoe Laverne in my videos, but I'm not even shocked at all because I already warned y'all that Zoe has a lot in store for us this week. She suddenly disappeared off of social media, but don't worry, you guys. She has a lot in store for us. A bunch of slow buddies in this video. And now she's trying her best to gain people's attention just to keep her name relevant in the Ew! What's that? As I mentioned in yesterday's video, Zoe Laverne got in messy drama with the TikTok community after she supposedly leaked an audio of her basically talking trash about Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio made me cry. What did she say? She gave me a whole long ass Social media is crazy these days, bro. I don't even, like, bro, I don't do, I don't do social media for However, this time the situation got really out of hand because not only did she accuse Charlie of being a bully, but she also got exposed herself for making fun of Charlie's fan base by calling them the dumb. Instead of their real name, you know, don't just be able to reach the goal you want to reach on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Not Zoe making fun of Charlie's fan base from her entire fan base. Like, just acting. Like, I don't do that. Shut up! Now, guys, you're probably thinking that this drama couldn't get any messier, and it didn't really. Because our girl Zoe took a break from coming after Charlie to literally attack Addison Prime! Yeah, guys, and the best part about this is that it happened a couple of hours after the drama when she thought it would be great to call Addison Ray a racist. You know, I'll probably do it for the money. You know what I'm saying? But I, don't, I don't do it to just to act out. Oh, you're acting. Leaked real Zoe on Insta. Because you're probably on for social media. No, bro. Man, shut up. Or come through the screen and throw these hands at your face. You know what I'm saying? So watch the video. I need it ASAP. Anyways, in other news, I can promise y'all that Zoe didn't accomplish her goal by making herself relevant again. Because, well, she also got exposed this week for talking trash about her current boyfriend Dawson in her old live stream, where she said how he's racist. I want you to understand that. He's racist. I want you all to understand that. I don't do none of this for And I told him that I was buying. He was like, he's like, I want you to do it. And I was like, what? Like he just like stood there. I was like, what's up? And he was like, no, like that's that's no. And I was like, Dawson, you can't be homophobic. Like he literally when we're out in public with each other, like when I would hang out with him and Brandon and everybody. If they saw like a different colored person, bro, I can tell the way like, she's talking and telling this story, bro. Like she's full of drama, bro. And I'm like, she's full of drama. Doing? Bro. You guys are probably well, um. She also got scammed but for doing this. Zoe was for doing the like, person shut who got attacked up. by millions of people. Shut up. She knew he was homophobic and racist in the past, oh, but decided to God. date She's him so anyway. She has I mean, one point eight million. Well, if he's homophobic and racist, here, bro. why are you dating him? Is it Dawson her cousin or am I? She's just no money in her natural habitat. There's a special case in Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Zoe Laverne dating a racist and homophobic this video guy? Is long for also, no do you reason, think she bro, will reach like, more audience about Charlie people. and Addison in the future? Let me know in the comments. Trisha, don't you get tired of talking shit about influencers? Oh, never mind. That's what's giving you and Zoe clout. So yeah, Trisha did come after many influencers this week, and honestly, I should have known from the first time she attacked Addison Rae for no reason. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, okay, a few days ago, so Trisha chose yeah, violence and came after Addison Rae in a podcast where she said that girl like Addison Rae should be Cancel. If you guys want to know more details about this drama, check my previous video about it. But after Bryce Hall got involved to defend his girlfriend, he threw shade at Josh Richards and the podcaster Dave for being toxic. And y'all, he even liked this shady comment about Josh as well. I mean, Bryce always sticks up for Josh, but Josh okay, never sticks up. I'm just going to end the video right I... here because, look, I'm going to tell you this right now. She's not talking about anything, bro. We already heard what she had to say the first five minutes. Already know. The first, the first three minutes, I already know this was just BS, bro. You're not saying, you're not talking about anything. It's just trash, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe. 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 I know you heard me the first time. Subscribe. What are you, 
All right, we just, I'm just gonna sit here for like five seconds, just five to 10 seconds, because I just told you to subscribe. You keep playing me, bro. Like, I'm not lit on this channel, bro. Like, I'm not the only, like, I'm like I'm still underrated. I love being an underdog, but you keep playing me like I'm not lit on YouTube, bro. So, 10 seconds, subscribe. I'm not playing with you, bro. Did you, did you subscribe yet? No. Nope. Leave a like. Score down, leave a like. Subscribe to join the hashtag Kyle Family, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Happy holidays. Hey, happy holidays. Listen, Christmas is right, right around the corner, man. I'm vlogging the whole day on the 26th, man. You already know about me. You already know. You already know. Road to 800, road to 1K, road to 1 million. They're probably like, oh, Carl, you're not doing that. I see, I'm, I, look, I, I look, I see the comments. I see all the hate comments. I don't care. I don't care, because guess what? I just keep moving forward, man. I keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's your boy Kyrie. I love you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for all the support. It's your boy Kyrie. I'm going to see you guys in the next, next, next video. Peace.